Uh, my name is Paul Clements, and I'm running for Congress because we've got an economy that's just not working for most Americans. For decades, it's been working for the very rich, but not for, not for, the, not for the average American. Partly it's because we've had a scourge of money in politics. Money in politics has given us an economy tilted towards the very wealthy, and it's given us a, a Congress where most of the people in Congress are paying more attention to their big donors than they are to the citizens in their own districts. Unfortunately, my, my opponent, Fred Upton, is a prime example of that. If we want to turn this economy around so it's really going to work for all of us, we've got to increase production here in the United States. We've got to dramatically improve education. We've got to improve the quality of health care and access to health care by reducing cost. I'm a professor. Okay? I, I, we need to have evidence-based solutions, and the evidence shows that Medicare for All is the, is the, is the way to go to, to improve access, to improve quality, and to reduce cost. I think we need criminal justice reform. We have far more people in prison and jail than any other industrialized countries. The war on drugs has failed. We need to take more of a public health approach. If we were to move a hundred, if we were to move a million people from prison or jail into the workforce, that would be an ama a major boost to the economy and it would also strengthen our communities. So I think that's the direction that we need to be considering. I think that I'm the best qualified to promote a strong economy that works for all Americans of the various candidates who are out there. And my opponent, Fred Upton, well, people saw from this health care bill that he's been voting for the multimillionaires and against the day-to-day -day interests of so many people here in his district.